We see these math crossword Sudoku style puzzles on social media a lot. Here's one we found that we enjoyed working out and wanted to share. We're going to start here in the top left corner. 3 plus something gives me 14. Well, we know 3 plus 11 gives us 14, so we're going to go ahead and fill that in. We don't have enough information to complete this square, so we're going to go over to this square now. 5 plus 10 gives me 15, so I can fill that in, and now we can go down. 15 times something gives me 45. Well, we know 15 times 3 gives us 45. Well, that's about as far as we can go on this box for now, so we're going to come over here to this bottom left square and see what we can do. 3 times 4 is going to give me 12, so I can go ahead and fill in that one. If I come down here, 12 minus 8 is also going to give me 4, and I can come down here, 3 plus 17 is going to give me 20. Now I can fill in the bottom part of this box. 20 divided by 5 is going to give me 4, so that missing value is 5. And here, I can also fill in this connector here. 4 times 1 is going to give me 4. So this square is done. So let's go over here and see what we can do on this one. Our best starting point is here. Something times 5 gives me 15. Well, I know 3 times 5 gives me 15. And now I can fill in this part going across. 6 divided by something is going to give me 3. So that something is 2. I can't do the rest of this yet, so I'm going to work my way back up. Now I know something minus 3 gives me 2, so that something is going to be 5. That leads me to this box here, because now I know something times 5 gives me 45. So there is my 9, and now we can fill in going down, because 5 plus 4 gives me 9. This leads me back to the connector to my first box. Something times 2 gives me 4, so there's my 2. Add those together, 14 plus 2 gives me 16. Now I can finish this part going across because I know 4 times 4 gives me 16. So now 3 and what with 1 give me 4? I know to get to 4 I have to add those together so I can fill in the addition sign. So now we got these three boxes done so we just need to come back here. I don't have anything I can really work off to solve from here so let's start where we let's start and build. Down here I know something times something gives me 15. So I know my factor pairs of 15 or 1 times 15 and 3 times 5. I also know this is going to have to be 6 plus something to give me that value. So that means I need a number here that's greater than 6. Well, the only value greater than 6 is the 15. So I'm going to go ahead and try this with 15 times 1. 15 times 1 gives me 15. And now if I try to come down here, 6 plus 9 is going to give me 15. That's going to let me fill across in here also because 8 plus 1 gives us 9, and now our whole puzzle is complete.